Attention Institute personnel. At this time back in 2017, the Templin Institute had just a few days earlier uploaded our first investigations into the Romulan Star Empire, the Empire of Nilfgaard, and the Union of Yuktibanian Republics. The initial wave of excitement was beginning to die down, we'd received just enough of a positive reception to convince us there was something to all this, and there was nothing left to do but just continue what we started, continue investigating alternate worlds. I had anticipated months or maybe even years of work before we developed a regular audience, but about a week later one of our videos was reported on by a popular website, some prominent content creators on YouTube reached out to us, and the trajectory of the Templin Institute fundamentally changed. Every idea I had of what the future of this channel was going to look like was shattered pretty much immediately. And since September 4th, 2017, that has happened again and again and again. Whenever I seem to have a sense of what the Templin Institute is, we take a risk trying something new. We reevaluate what we're already doing, and sometimes we have to endure some setbacks. It can be scary and stressful and heartbreaking, but what I truly love about this channel, this community, and this audience is that while I have a vision of where we'll be five years from now, I know we're going to end up somewhere completely different, somewhere much better. So while 2027 is up in the air, I'd love to announce some new projects, rewards, and other items you can expect from us in the last bit of 2022. And what better place to start than with a few things we've done to commemorate our five-year anniversary. Now everyone knows that to be an official content creator on YouTube, Twitch, or anywhere else, you need two things, a flag and a coat of arms. Now the Templin Institute does have a flag, and I bring it everywhere, but now finally we have our very own heraldic device. Bjorn Frieden, whose name I hope I pronounced correctly, has again designed for the Institute an exceptional coat of arms, one reflecting our proud traditions and noble heritage. From now on, whenever the Templin Institute wipes out entire nations with a stroke of a pen, you can be assured this coat of arms will be on the relevant documentation. But you'll also be able to find it on some new merchandise. If you'd like to represent the Templin Institute on your own field investigation, or maybe even around your local reality, be sure to check out the Templin Commissary. And it just so happens the Commissary has been quietly updated over the last few months with a bunch of new designs and better representations of what our products actually look like in action. I think we're all familiar with the standard YouTuber merch store with the same four images on a hundred different products, and one of the main directives of the Templin Institute is that we don't do that. There's still some work to be done, but if you haven't checked out the Commissary in a bit, you might be surprised by how much it's changed and how much has been added. Moving on though, one of the main pillars of the Templin Institute that has prevented us from crumbling into dust after five years is our Patreon. If you've ever wondered why our videos look like this, and not like this, it's because we're not totally reliant on YouTube views to remain financially viable. And to thank all our loyal patrons for their continued support, I'm very pleased to announce a couple special rewards. The first is a Templin Institute insignia pin, perfectly suited for use on any official uniform or fashionable Yushenka. Now we've had some issues previously obtaining pins, and if you're still waiting on your Antares insignia, it does look like the global situation is improving and you won't have to wait much longer, same for our campaign ribbons. But this time around, we've ordered way more pins than we could possibly ever give out, and most critically, they're already in our possession. They will be sent out to all our patrons at the $15 level and above. No extended wait on these ones. The second item, though, is something truly special. Now, we all know that accomplishments of any sort really don't mean anything until they've been immortalized through artwork. Well, I am incredibly excited to announce that we commissioned Joanna Barnum to create a tribute honoring all those who perished while investigating alternate realities. Joanna was one of just 23 artists invited by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or you know, NASA, to paint the $8 billion James Webb Space Telescope, so she was quite literally the only artist the Templin Institute could trust to fully bring to life our $8 gas mask and jumpsuit. Well, the results, as they say, clearly speak for themselves. Prints of this artwork will be sent to all our patrons at the $25 tier and above, and it might also be available on the Templin Commissary at a later date. For now though, both this poster and the Templin pin will only be available on our Patreon from now until October 8th. That's one full month. And if you'd like to see more of Joanna's work, all her links are in the description. Plus, she was kind enough to record a time lapse of the entire process. You can find that over on the Templin archives. But getting back to the YouTube side of things, I'm also very excited to officially announce something that, while not exactly a secret, hasn't been advertised. 
The Templin Institute is now on TikTok and YouTube Shorts. Now look, as an old man with the personality of an even older man, I've made no secret about my disdain for those damn kids and their 30 second vertical videos. But damn it, it turns out there's just some things I'd like to talk about that, while interesting, are not enough to justify a full video. It's also a kind of interesting challenge, boiling down a topic into something succinct and efficient. Not to mention, it's easier to directly respond to comments and questions. If you want to know my opinion on the Hellgast flag, for example, we can quickly put out a short instead of taking five years to include it in a more comprehensive video. We've been putting out shorts for a couple months now, and even without any advertising, I'm amazed at how many of you have found them. For the rest of you though, you'll find the links to the Templin Institute on TikTok and Templin Direct here on YouTube in the description. And this isn't the first time we've had some secret secondary channels out there, so keep an eye out, you never know what you might find. But now we need to journey to those realities firmly in the grasp of the Greater Terran Union and the Antares Confederacy. One of my very favorite moments during these last few years was when I got to reveal some original artwork during a live stream of Stellaris Invicta. Joan Piquet Lorenz, and again let's hope I'm pronouncing that right, is an incredible talent and we've been truly lucky to have him as our semi-official artist in residence. To celebrate five years, Joan has painted two incredible tributes to both the Greater Terran Union and the Antares Confederacy. If you'd like to relive the War of Vengeance against the Tyrum, or the lasting triumph of the Earhart Flotilla, you'll find these pieces available right now on the Templin Commissary. But I know what you're saying. Mark, I can't hang up artwork because I live in a house without any walls. Well, I can't solve that problem directly, but I do think I have a solution. The Templin Institute website, yes, we have a website, has been updated to include digital versions of both the work we commissioned for Stellaris Invicta, Star Wars Reimagined, and just random images we've created for our videos. There's a ton of content there, perfect as wallpaper on your phone, computer, or whatever. Now we end things with a question I've been asked more than any other. When is season How long have you spent trying to understand your reality? Are you any closer? Or does every answer just raise a dozen more questions that you're still not sure how to even ask? You try to shove what little knowledge you've gained into neat and tidy boxes, something easy to organize, process, something that looks good on a spreadsheet. This reality is gate 1001, this is 3045, this one is 5098, while over there is 4081. All your efforts only took you further from the truth. Not that I blame you. I did the same thing. Existence mocks both our efforts, whether it's gates in a facility deep underground, or a collection of playthings on a young girl's bookshelves. Existence is an endless horizon of always shifting patterns. Realities form, split apart, coalesce with others, only to be swept away even as you watch. It is a kaleidoscope. One that exists across space and time, moving infinitely in all directions. You might think you recognize a pattern or a cycle, only to never find its kind again. Staring into it is like staring into the sun. I burned out my eyes, only to realize I didn't need eyes to see. <laughs> Years later, no closer. Just like she said. Every now and then, Samantha gets it right, doesn't she? She lied about her work. She lied about her life. She pressured others to lie on her behalf. Even now, we're still trying to repair the damage she did. I don't think even she knew what the truth was. But it was in there, hidden amongst all the excuses and all the hypocrisy. If she'd lied about everything, my job would be easier. Is your current task beyond your abilities? I've spent weeks in 4011. We've combed through the ruins, through the cathedral. We've documented the... the impact zone. None of the resets have restored the reality. It's permanent. Does that scare you? I... <sighs> yes. Anyone who says otherwise is lying. But, as much as it frightens you and me, I can guarantee there are others in the Institute who understand the implications far more, and their fear is palpable. The order from the Director is simple. 
the investigations must continue. So I hope that detailed and exhaustive explanation has helped explain exactly when season three will be starting up. Stellaris Invicta, after all, is a big project, and we want to make sure that we can make it even bigger while still delivering what you've come to expect so far. So that's going to be all the announcements we have as part of our five-year special spectacular. Once again, you'll find the links to everything announced today in the video description. I can't thank you all enough for the support you've shown the Institute over these last five years. It's something I hope we never take for granted and instead pay back to this community as much as we possibly can. So thank you one more time, and here's to five more years. The Templin Institute investigates the nations, factions, and organizations of alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards.